First things first, they look good. Yo, what's going on guys, Little Does MC here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are, be sure to go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Ding down that notification bell and that way you'll get notified whenever I upload a brand new video on the channel or go live with some Hypixel mini games with viewers. But I've been getting asked the question a lot, Dan, what client do you use? What settings do you use for your client? I've had loads of these questions in my live stream, so I've decided why not make a video and let you guys know what client I'm using, what settings I'm using. If you just want to replicate the settings I'm doing, then use can by all means. First things first, I will leave a download link for the client in the description below. It's very simple. All you have to do is click the link, click download, go through the setup process and link your Minecraft account. It is literally that simple. So a lot of you have already guessed it. I use the bad lying client. I used to use Forge, just regular Minecraft Forge and I dragged my mods into the mod folder and it was all really complicated and just horrible because you had to update every single mod separately this client literally it has all the mods that I need and they get all updated at the same time automatically I don't have to do anything I can just sit there and just just let it happen okay so this is the mod section for the bad line client these are all the mods which I have selected I will run through them I'll let you know what to do and why I use them so first starting off we've got OOGG it's pretty self-explanatory Whenever you finish a game, it'll automatically type in the chat for your GG, it'll get your karma up. In the settings, I've just got it send after zero seconds, which means as soon as the game's over, that's it, there you are, GG has been put in the chat. So next we have auto text, and the reason I use this is for when I'm in my parties on my live streams. I have it set up on a macro, which I have it, oh, how, how kind of you to put me in this lobby. So I've got the macro set up, when I press my left arrow key, it'll paste this message in the chat. So basically I've just got slash PC for slash party chat and then whatever text I want to have in and then pretty much say if I was to do stream open can't even type stream open 2 and then I was to press my macbook key it is going to paste that in the chat it just makes it so much easier for trying to advertise your stream next on the sentence we have auto tip and that literally just automatically tips people in your lobbies just in hypixel in general I don't actually know too much about this mod I've just always had it selected it I, I don't know what helps you with something. It, it probably doesn't help you, but it's there. Next, this one's also pretty self-explanatory. We've got boss bar, which displays the health of the boss, such as if you're in Sky Wars and you've got the Ender Dragon at the end of the game, it'll display the boss's health. Next, I've got CPS, which for anyone who doesn't know, stands for clicks per second. And these are the settings which I have for it. I've got reverse order ticked on. I have the bad line font because I think it just looks, it just looks so much nicer and cleaner than having the regular Minecraft font. Next I have chat, it's pretty much just the exact default of what the normal chat is, except I've got the settings changed so the text is in bad line format and not the regular Minecraft format. Like I've said, this is gonna be a repeating theme of the bad line text just looks so much cleaner than the regular Minecraft font. And that's why I've got it set on pretty much all of my mods that require text. Next, scrolling down, we have coordinates. So if we go into this, these are the settings which I run for it. This is the coordinates which get displayed in the top left-hand corner of my screen. By default, I believe it has show biome on and it might have show chunks on, I'm honestly not too sure, but I've took both of them off. All I have on is round location and show direction. It's just much more cleaner. I was trying to go for the look of the Batty's coordinates mod and I just loved how clean that looked. Once again, got the bad line font on just because it looks so much better. Next, moving on, we've got crosshair, pretty self-explanatory. It's the crosshair in the middle of your screen. These are the settings I've got for it. I'm not gonna tell you what each and one of these does, but I will scroll through it, let you have a look, and if you just wanna copy these settings, then by all means you can do. Next we have Enchant Glint. Now I could be wrong here, but I believe it adds some sort of rainbow, rainbowy, sparkly effect to all of your enchanted armor. Could be wrong there. I've just got it ticked because it, it looks cool. Next on the mods we have FPS, which stands for frames per second. If we hop into this, as you can see, I've got reverse order ticked. I've got the background color as default. I'm pretty sure everything which I've got for the background color, they're all on the default color. I have my text as white just because it's nice and clean. And once again, I've got the bad line font on. Next, I have full bright on. And basically, if I was to turn this off, as you can see, my screen looks a lot more darker. I'll try and throw in a clip of what it looks like without full bright on and then what it looks like with full bright on. But pretty much, in general, it just turns your brightness up to the max 
and it makes everything much more easier to see. Next, I've got a mod which I have used for years. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It just looks so good. It is the level head mod. Now, to be fair, I completely forgot about customizing any of this. So this is just on the default stuff. Uh, so I might actually uh, change this at some point. But these are the settings which I've been running on my past streams. So if you would like to copy that, then by all means you can do. You can also change the value on here. So you can have it display the player's level above the head. You can have it display the amount of karma they have, how many achievement points, how many friends they have, and so on and so forth. Literally, the sky is the well. The sky is not really the limit because you, there's only like seven options. I've got mine set as level because that is what I've always had. It's the level head mod, so it's, it's only fitting to have it as level. Next, we have perspective on. Now, what that mod would do is say if you're running around and obviously you've got the usual perspective behind the character, you've got the perspective in front of the character. I have mine bound to alt, so if I was to press alt, I can do a full 360 around my character. You can also do this as as the moving. This is what I've done for one of my thumbnails to say, I go up here, stand my character here, go around, and then you can have it as if he is looking at something, and you can get some really cool shots for when you're in Photoshop. Do I use the mod a lot? Not really, but it just looks cool. So next we'll have portion status, so if I was to go into this, this basically will display all the portion effects which your character currently has on them. I have mine displaying on the left side of the screen. These are the colours which I've got for it. So for the actual name of the portion effect, I've got that in blue because I've got a nice blue theme going on with all of the other mods. And then for the timer, I have that as white. Once again, bad line font is on and I have vanilla portions on. And next we have scoreboard. So if we were to go into this, this is basically the scoreboard which would get displayed on the right side of your screen. I've got show numbers turned off. It has like a couple of numbers which are displayed on the right side in red. I've got them turned off, looks much more cleaner. Once again, I've got the bad line font turned on and I have default position turned on just because uh, I don't know, it just, it looks right being in the right hand corner it just wouldn't look right being put anywhere else so i just didn't tamper with it too much and then finally we have toggle sprint pretty self-explanatory once again you press the button and it toggles your sprint to be on constantly now when you've got toggle sprint active it will display a text to basically show it look it is active you have toggle sprint working right now you can customize this text i have changed mine to say triggered dino because you know dino it's so original i know right once again bad line font is turned on I have the colour in white. I have mod indication turned on to show that, you know, the mod is working. You have toggle sprint turned on. And then everything else I have left as it is. And that is all the mods I use with the Badline client. I know it was a bit of a different video, but hopefully it was a bit helpful for the people who did want to know what sort of mods I used. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like on this video. Let's see if we can try and get 50 likes. That'd be absolutely goddamn awesome. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more of my content, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. Ding dong that notification bell and then you'll get notified whenever I upload a brand new video or when I go live on the channel. At the moment, I've got a really good schedule going. I've been going live every single day at 3.30pm UK time. So if you want to come along, join in, get involved, come and join the party. We usually play Sky Wars, Bed Wars and any sort of mini games that we can. So if you're interested in that, feel free to come along. Have some fun. It's absolutely awesome. I'm sure go and join my Discord server as well. The link will be in the description for that. But until next time, I've been Dan, all it was is MC. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. And adios.